Oh, it's bright out. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is AJ Baduk with Life on the 30A. I am your local and trusted 30A real estate agent here on 30A with the luxury division of the Emerald Group. So today we're going to be checking out the Blue Gulf townhome. So just in case you guys were like, AJ, we love your videos. We love 30A. We want to be there, but literally don't want to spend a million dollars. I got you. We have options. So let me spin you around. <coughs> Sorry guys, I just got over being sick. Here we are in the subdivision and it's just these seven units and they're all going for $8.95 each. They're just over 1,900 square feet with three bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. You can see they all have their own garage and dedicated parking. And then right over here you have your own pool it's not huge because well not a ton of people are going to be using it so it's just enough for the folks that are going to be here splash around a bit have a little bit of shady area over there but it also means that your hoa isn't crazy right typically hoas on 30a are going to be pretty expensive this one's only 540 bucks per month, which is great. Not a whole lot to deal with over here. You've got the pavers down. You don't have huge yards to deal with, so maintenance is pretty easy. There are some rental projections. Keep in mind, these are brand new. They're all just built in 2023, so they haven't had any opportunities to be rented out yet. So these are all gonna be projections, and they're showing. I saw two projections. One was around 80,000 per year, and the other was around 90,000 per year. You guys, if I like cough in the middle of this, I'm so sorry, but the show must go on, right? Even though I'm shooting it's Easter weekend and I just got over being sick. This is how much I love what I do, y'all. All right, so let's take a look at this unit. Oh, but first a little administrative stuff. This is a listing offered by uh, Stuart Kirby and Scott Markowitz, and they are with Scenic Sotheby's. I'm super grateful that they've allowed me to showcase their units here. I'm glad that I'm able to keep providing content for you guys and keep helping y'all purchase properties here on 30A. If you have any questions about these ones or any others that I've done or any others in general, please give me a call, text or email. All of my contact information is on the screen as I run out of breath because I can't cough and talk at the same time. All right, look how beautifully done these are. You're getting the same great construction and quality that you've all come used to here on 38. Look at these floors. These floors make me so happy. I love this natural color. Uh, these units have been professionally designed by Scenic Lifestyles Designs. So if you want any, you know, help with designing your property, because maybe you're like me and you don't have any creativity when it comes to designing a space, you can get some help, just like I have to. They've already epoxied the garage floors for you. Solid one car garage with actually a bit of extra room just ahead so you could put some storage in there as well. Great little half bath here because all the bedrooms are going to be on the second floor so it's very convenient to have a half bath here in like the main areas. And of course the kitchen. Check out this backsplash. Love it. And everybody has started doing these um, under the cabinet lighting systems and I absolutely love it. I hope that continues to be a trend. All right, let's check out this pantry. Oh, it just keeps going, holy cow. I miss this light. Wow, look, it just keeps going, you guys. Holy cow. <laughs> Harry Potter is in here. All right, and now you have your dining area. Now, out this back door is going to be 30A. So you're thinking, oh my God, I bet it's so loud, but you guys, we don't hear anything in here. There's no noise, zero road noise. So this is, you know, your yard nothing crazy. You do have two air AC units and a Renai water heating system, so you're not going to run out of hot water. 
<coughs> I'm so sorry guys, y'all are gonna be like, AJ, your video was horrible. We're so sick of listening to you cough and wheeze and not be able to breathe. All right, let's go up and see the bedrooms. I love it. You're gonna see on the other level too that we've got some windows in the hallways, which I always love because it provides some natural light. Also something that's really cool that they did with this build is when the shower light comes on, so does the vent automatically. So it just helps to maintain the integrity of the home and just keep any additional moisture out. This is the master. It's a really great size and it's got tons of natural light from all these windows, but it doesn't feel hot. Got a little princess balcony here, if you will. Rapunzel, let down your hair. And into the master bath. I just love what they've done here. Now this one is still not necessarily under construction, it still has some stuff going on. So that's why we're gonna see some blue tape around because it's just indicating that there's still stuff to be done. So the mirrors have yet to go up, but they will be. Dual vanities. You do have a water closet. This is so important. I will not buy a property that doesn't have a separated water closet. I just won't. And look at how much closet space you have here. Absolutely love it. You do have some additional storage here. So you don't have to worry about competing in your closet for clothing versus linens, like I do at my house, because I wasn't thinking really big laundry room and you've got lights under the cabinets again you got some side by side front load um washer and dryer over here and then the remaining two bedrooms tons of light you know you've got the canned lights and then you've also got the lights and the ceiling fans a lot of times we don't see that in new builds really seeing um fans in all the bedrooms isn't usually a thing. So it's always nice when I see that. I like to point it out. It's another great size bedroom. I love the windows over here. Just anything that brings in more natural light, I'm all about it. Another solid closet space. Oh, look at that, it just keeps going. It's like you've got little like Easter eggs, you know? Oh, fitting for the season. This one they're obviously still doing quite a bit too. So we'll still see some mirrors coming in later. All right, and then let's go up to this flex space. Oh, I wanted to point out these windows again. Just helping to continue bringing in all that natural light. And guys, I wanna tell you, I still don't hear anything. Like, zero road noise. Attic access over here. And another full bathroom. So if you are hanging out up here, you've still got a spot to use. And check out this little covered patio that you have. Now you will hear some road noise here because you're literally right on the road. I love this fan, it's like this massive industrial fan and this is a huge space. I mean, this could be, this is the size of a bedroom easily. You do have a gallery just right over there, a little art gallery, kind of cool. 
and the Timpuchi walking trail. So if you like walking, you can just step out your back door and just go for a walk. Okay, so I showed you a furnished unit and man, you can hear the difference when there's an echo in an empty unit. So that was the corner unit number one. So this is unit number two. I just wanna show you guys what it looks like when it's empty. So you have an idea of what it looks like furnished and now you can see what it looks like empty in case you want to come up with your own ideas. So here's your living space again. There are gonna be some differences, of course, between the end units and the, um, you know, centrally located units, if you will. Obviously, you won't be able to have the windows on the sides, and I'll show you that, but everything else remains the same. You still have all this great pantry space. I'm showing it to you like you haven't seen it before. <laughs> So now you can kind of envision what your own furniture would look like down here. But look over here. So in the stairs, and this is just in case you're looking at these units, I want you to have a very realistic picture of what you're getting. In the other unit, we had a window up here. It's not really possible when you're in the center of two units because, well, you're gonna be looking in your neighbor's house. And uh, well, most people don't wanna do that or have that done to them. So we're not gonna have the windows here either, right? So that's really the biggest difference between the units. So if you end up on an end unit, and on an end unit, then you're going to have <coughs> the windows and the stairs. But if you're in, you know, a more middle unit, you're not gonna have that. So still have everything else. Everything else is gonna look the same. So if you're purchasing from afar and you're looking at the different units, I don't want you to, you know, pick up one of these centrally located ones and be like, what are those windows AJ showed us? That's what's gonna happen. Just in case you guys aren't super familiar with Blue Mountain Beach, I feel like it's not one that gets talked about a whole, whole lot, you know, Rosemary Beach gets talked about a lot. Alice Beach gets talked about a lot. Seaside gets talked about a lot. But Blue Mountain Beach is a great area to live in or even to have as a secondary home. You know, these other locations, they're really cool to visit, you know, for a weekend, you know, once a year, something like that. Blue Mountain Beach is kind of the place you want to be if you intend to spend more time here because you're not so much in the thick of it, you know? Um, it's quieter over here. You have a lot more nature over here. It's more, it's more geared toward residences, I feel like. While, <coughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. Mm. It's more geared towards living rather than just visiting. So if you were looking for a place to stay either full time or half the year, or maybe you know, you're one of those people that's really sensitive to huge fluctuations in temperature. And so you're like, I'm going to go to Florida for the winters. And I'm going to go up north for the summers because I want to maintain a certain high and low boundary for my temperature situation. Blue Mountain Beach is a really great place for that because not only is it comfortable to stay here, I don't wanna say long-term, but long-term would work, long-term or mid-term, but you can also still get quite a bit for income when you're not here. You can rent it out and have that help with the mortgage or you know, if you're paying cash, then it's just something to have, you know? <coughs> You guys, <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> um, so if you guys haven't considered Blue Mountain Beach, definitely take a look at it. This unit is fantastic and I think it would be super easy to qualify for whether you were using 
um, an FHA loan, a VA loan. Um, if you wanted to do a DSCR, given the projections, it should work out just fine. DSCR is specifically a loan to purchase an investment property and you don't want your income being taken into consideration because maybe you're 1099 or some other form of business owner, entrepreneur, and so you have a different tax situation, if you will. Um, if you're using a DSCR loan, then you don't have to have anyone look at your income. You strictly just purchase in the name of an LLC. And as long as you can come up with the down payment of 20 to 30% and have six months worth of reserves towards the mortgage and the property shows that it will, excuse me, it will make more per month in rental revenue than the mortgage, then the property qualifies. You don't have to worry about your income qualifying. So if you guys have any questions about different types of loan options for something like this, whether it be these properties or other properties here in the Florida Panhandle, again, all of my contact information is on the screen. And if you haven't done so already, please, you guys hit the subscribe button and ding the bell so that you get notified every time I do another video. And I will see y'all at the next one.